Worldwide Hippies presents Hippie News and Stuff with Winston Smith and the Worldwide Hippies News Team. Welcome to Hippie TV News and Stuff, brought to you by WorldwideHippies.com. For the week of August 2nd, I am Winston Smith. Free Pot in Michigan, P.E. Nolan, The Debt Crisis, Asshole of the Week, and more. First, our top story, Homeless and Broken America. Last week, the Pew Research Center released a study finding wealth gap between whites, blacks, Hispanics, and other minorities is at an all-time record high. The media reported across the board how shocking this was. Shocking? Of the lowest income Americans in a new study out tonight shows that they are increasingly black and Hispanic Americans. Their median household net worth is now 20 times less than that of white households in this country. That's the biggest wealth gap ever recorded. And a staggering one third of black and Hispanic Americans have a negative net worth now compared to 15% of white households in America. The story ran the news cycle and was gone. One was left with the impression that this is about race. White folk are doing okay and minorities are suffering at their hands. Let's take a look at homelessness and income in America. The homeless. The common figure used in most academic reports is 3.5 million. The U.S. government uses the figure 1.5 to 2.3 million. Corporate media uses the government numbers most of the time when they are reporting. All define homelessness as not having a place to sleep at night. So if you're sleeping in a shelter, under a friend's porch, or in your car, well, you're not homeless, period. The true statistics of homelessness in America is staggering. A recent estimate, about 1.6 million people lived in emergency shelters or transitional housing each evening. This number is very low and only counts registered, official shelters and housing. The number of non-property owners is around 100 million, not counting children, and half of those have no steady place to stay, according to a Yahoo survey done in 2009. That's a lot more than 3.5 million. How about income? The federal government, who's bluffing about everything they do, will be happy if they get $140 million, 140 million tax returns for 2010. That's 96 million short of the 236 million available in the workforce at any given time. Where are the other 96 million, and how do they live? According to U.S. Census reports, 16 million children live in poverty, and according to the U.S. Census Bureau, approximately 43.6 million people were living in absolute poverty in the U.S. in 2009. The poverty level for 2011 was set at $22,350. That's total yearly income. That's $15 a day for food, health care, shelter, sales tax, and clothing. And that's poverty defined by the U.S. government. The point being, it is not a white on black wealth gap. It's a rich defining the terms for society gap and grabbing all they can while we point our fingers at each other and use their definitions, their terms, their prejudices, and their commentary when we do. So let's start using our own definitions. The poor are not poor. We're just denied by criminals of what is ours. And power is with the people any time we want to use it. The rich know that and they fear it. Imagine 3.5 million people camping in Washington, D.C. Or how about a weekend at Martha's Vineyard for 3.5 million people? Or how about camping in Vernacki's front yard? There's your real power grab. Once we truly use that power, that wealth will come. And that wealth will be defined by us, the people, all colors, races, and income. We'll be right back. As a preschool teacher, Trisha's passion is shaping young lives. As a worldwide hippies reporter, she's found that adult minds need the same fuel and information. Every report by Trisha packs an entertaining and educational punch. You can see her weekly on the Worldwide Hippies News Broadcast. And here is P.E. Nolan with her report. What's happening on the activism front there, Trish? Hi, Winston. Last week, environmentalist Tim DeChristopher was sentenced to two years in federal prison and $10,000 in fines for nonviolently stopping an auction of oil and gas leases that George Bush arranged for his buddies at the end of his administration leaving aside the fact that nobody from BP and none of those frackers ever goes to jail, Tim's sentence is fucked up because the judge totally ignored Tim's sentencing officer's recommendations to side with prosecutors who wanted to make an example of Tim for him. 
civil disobedience. The judge said, civil disobedience can't be the order of the day or it will lead to chaos as if our leaders are not causing chaos all the time. Uh, but anyway, um, Tim was immediately taken into custody um, until his prison sentence begins in a couple of weeks. Uh, normally, people only go directly to jail if they are considered a, a violent threat or a flight risk. But Judge D. Benson did not want Tim to use the days before he goes to prison to inspire others to challenge the establishment. Tim saved that land in Utah for us, and now he's in jail. Even though he is strong and brave and articulate and all of that, he is just a guy, and he is in a cage away from the land and the people he loves and the people who love him. His friends at Peaceful Uprising say that Tim would deeply appreciate letters from us and um, if anybody wants to send a book, uh, there's a wish list uh, up at bitter70.org. Back to you, Winston. Thank you, Tricia. And you can see P.E. Nolan each Monday here on Hippie TV News. Free pot in Michigan? You betcha. Free marijuana in exchange for registering to vote? This is exactly what a Lansing, Michigan clinic has been offering patients for the past month. One medical marijuana shop in Lansing claims it's just doing its civic duty. The Your Healthy Choice Clinic on Michigan Avenue boasts on its website that the clinic offers half a gram or a free food product as a thank you for registering. Lansing City Clerk, the Lansing City Clerk says the clinic is treading on a very fine line. It wasn't ever to lure patients or to try to buy their votes or anything like that. No, not at all. For the past month and a half, she and other dispensaries in the area have been running a voter registration campaign. She says she's been educating patients and caregivers on the medical marijuana ordinance and who on city council supports it. So Such a controversial incentive is certainly not sitting well with some lawmakers and politicians. I don't know why that is. Judging by the way people vote here in the U.S., they must be smoking something already. Oh, it's time for our asshole of the week, and this week it goes to, sadly, Dolly Parton for her homophobic Dollywood theme park. According to AP, a lesbian couple is asking for changes at Dollywood after an employee asked one of the women to turn her t-shirt reading, Marriage is so gay. This is the t-shirt and offending phrase, Marriage is so gay. And what do you think he found so offensive with that? I don't know if it was that it had the word gay on it or if it had marriage you know in combination with the word gay. Odom and her partner Jennifer Tipton who is an employee of WATE say the shirt promotes marriage equality and is not a hateful thing. Both feel Odom was singled out and treated unfairly. So unfairly that Odom sent Dollywood a formal complaint on July 19th. Dollywood spokesman Pete Owens said that Dollywood is open to all families but their dress code policy is to ask people with clothing or tattoos that could be considered by Dolly offensive to change their clothes, cover up, or leave. There was no reply from Dolly except from her park spokesman. He said Dolly's dress code is a policy the park employees have to deal with frequently. Interesting policies from a woman who touts her tits and opens each show with the line, it takes a lot of money to look this cheap. But for refusing to comment and letting your employees take the heat for your homophobia, you, yes, we see them, Dolly Parton, are worldwide hippies. Asshole. That's it for this week. Please visit WorldWideHippies.com for original articles and news from all over the world, updated every two hours. And visit our store or make a donation on the site. You will be helping all of us here at Worldwide Hippies to keep up the howl for peace and justice. And we will see you here next month.